and I am here with May's Ink Flight. It's Ink Flight Day, y'all! I love Ink Flight Day. It's my favorite day of the month! Okay. Um, yeah. I like the little stamp on the box. I like how they stamp all the boxes with, like, a different thing every, every month. It's, like, a different color. It's so cute. Okay, so I don't know what we have in here. It's a small box. For some reason, I thought it was, like, a giant box. And I was like, holy cow, what did we get? I think I saw... I want to say it was Erin over at Joys of Pen and Paper. I always say her channel name wrong, but, um, yeah, I think it was her. I saw her thumbnail and, like, Dormouse, well, Dormouse didn't have the box on her thumbnail, but I saw, <laughs> saw, like, all the ink play videos start popping up a day or two ago, and I'm like, no, where's mine? It's here. It's finally here. What do we get? So it's an itty bitty box, which means we have a small goodie, which is not, that's not a bad thing. Feeling around to make sure I get everything out of here. Okay, looks like we got everything that's in the box. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. What do we got? We have a pen. We have ink, obviously, and we have the sticker. Here's the sticker. I love the sticker. I hoard the stickers because I'm like, what do I put the sticker on? It has to be like perfect. So let's see. So we have. I don't know what inks we have. We have the online compass, online campus fountain pen in assorted colors. Looks like this has a medium nib. Like when most people think of a German fountain pen, they think of pens with made by established brands like Lamy, Pelican, Caveco, Montblanc. Wait, Montblanc is German? Am I just like now realizing that? Did I just think they were French because of Montblanc? Okay, anyway. <laughs> existential crisis here okay while online pens doesn't have the same recognition they still make nice affordable fountain pens included in this month's box is the smart and stylish campus filler fountain pen from online i got this cute rose gold sort of color it's a very light pen it's a very light pen oh it's kind of neat this nib reminds me of like a caveco um percao a little bit or maybe even the Faber Castell grip. Not like the shape of it, but just like how it's kind of set in there a little bit. It's a pretty thin section up here, and it does like the sort of forced triangle grip. It doesn't click or anything, but it fits on the end real nicely. That makes it really long. So I don't know if it's necessary, but cool. Assuming it comes with, yep, a cartridge. Looks like a blue, blue ink cartridge. Very nice. Standard International, I'm guessing, online. Cool, cool. It's a very, very, very lightweight pen. Oh, and it clicks into place when it's like, the fabric castell grip kind of does that. I like that. And then, there. It's definitely a pretty like inexpensively, like it feels like an inexpensive pen. This clip feels really nice though. But yeah, for just like throwing in your bag or carrying with you or like handing off to somebody who wants to try a fountain pen. Not bad. Like I said, this has a medium nib. Okay. Pull off the snap cap to reveal an ergonomic rubberized grip section and medium point stainless steel nib. View the remaining ink in your pen using the transparent ink window, which we saw right here. Nice. Um... Uh, blah, blah, blah. The campus includes one long blue ink cartridge that has an arrow pointing to the end that needs to be inserted into the pen. Oh, I did not notice that little detail, but let's look at it. Oh my, oh, this is the end that needs to, I was going to, I would have put that end in there, so I'm not sure if you can see, but it's an arrow towards that way. Well, that's good because I totally would have done it the wrong way. That makes sense why they threw it in the pen this way. Should we ink it and see what it writes like? I think we should. Uh, um, this pen is also compatible with international ink cartridges or converters not included in this box. They might fit a little tight, but it will securely attach. Oh, good to know. 
Good enough. Continuing in our series of literary inspired Inktopus stickers, our friend Eric, E underscore B underscore Ink on Instagram, uh, illustrated an Octo Vonnegut uh, hard at work writing novels such as Slaughter- Slaughterhouse Five, Cat's Cradle, and Breakfast of Champions. So it goes. That's. <laughs> I love it. Um, who would you like to who would you like to turn into an inktopus sticker? Email the captain at info at autoink.com with your favorite art authors, artists, and anyone you feel is worthy to be immortalized in an inktopus. Very cute. <laughs> now that I'm actually like looking at it, I can see. I see the resemblance. <laughs> okay, let's check out our inks for this time. Actually, let's open it up before we look at the paper. Meow. Do you want to look at the inks, Papa? Piece of tape. We saved it. Another successful saving of tape. We have all kinds of stuff. Oh, we have all kinds of stuff. Okay, cool. We have Ooh, Sailor Yurameku Kokoro Guma. Sailor Yurameku Suki Gokuro. Nice. Did we get all the Yuramekus? I um, just bought a bottle of this literally today. It's already shipped. Sailor Shikiori Shito Shito. I have gotten a sample of this and used it and I love it. Also considered a bottle of this. Haven't done it yet. Sailor Yurameku Hana Gokuro. Sailor Shikiori Zaza. I think I've swatched this one as well. Uh, Sailor Yurameku Zari Gokuro. And last but not least, Sailor Yurameku Date Gokuro. Sweet! <laughs> Ink Flight's been shopping my stash again, y'all. No, I'm kidding. I'm very excited about these. I actually have written with... Um, I don't think I've written with Zaza. But I know that I've written with this one. And I've written with all the Yuramekus. Because we did all the Yuramekus for 30 inks. So exciting! Let's read the paper. Last year, Ink Flight number 67 visited Sailor in Japan to sample the first Yurameku series of multi-chromatic fountain pen inks. These colors were so interesting, complex, and fun that we came back for more. The second edition of Yurameku inks includes five mysterious colors that dramatically change their appearance as they dry. To complete the seven, sam- complete the seven samples, we have also included two colors from the Shigiori Sounds of Rain collection. So let's see what Ink Flight says about the inks. And I need to move my bottle of water so I can get my pen stand here, my little vial holder for the actual intended purpose. Okay, we're going to start with Kokoro Guma, which is here. My camera keeps moving. Hello, camera. Can we behave? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sailor Yurameku Kokoro Guma. In the vial, this ink looks blue, but once you put it to paper, it transforms into a sheening brownish violet. Zari Gokuro. Here. This dusky blue black has a rich coppery sheen. Zaza is this one. From the Sounds of Rain series, Zaza is the sound of hard rain, represented by a medium blue with shading. I think when I swatched this, I liked it, but I don't think I've used it in a pen yet. Yurameku Date Gokuro. At the heart of this ink is a deep violet with red sheen. I did end up liking this. This this and Suki Gokuro are probably my favorite of this line. Probably surprising nobody. Suki Gokuro. This muddy green ink has tones of olive with reddish brown sheen. I'm very excited for my bottle to get here. Hana Gokuro. This grayish slate purple contains deep reflections of burgundy sheen. And then Shito Shito, the sounds of rain softling, the sound of rain falling softly. Um, Shito Shito exhibits a watery light aqua blue that shades beautifully. I like, I really like this one a lot. Okay, let's get to swatching. And as always, the bonus uh, ink flight bubble wrap. No ink flight is complete without its bubble wrap. Okay, let's get to swatching. Ta-da. As always, I will be swatching our ink samples on Colorverse, not Colorverse, Skylab Letterpress coloring cards. 
I'm using my Moonman N6 glass dip pen. I have various craft store paint brushes. We're also going to go ahead and uh, lay down the swatches in my Hobonichi Weeks here because I like documenting them that way. And yeah, let's get started. Our first one, oh, let me grab my single ink vial. We have our ink, ink -a pet here. Ink -a pet, little inktopus. I believe we did get this in an, in a, um, in an ink flight. I've gotten one as a gift and one from ink flight. The only thing with these Yurameku inks is it coats the vial and they're really dark so it's hard to tell when I actually dip it in the ink. Okay, Ink Flight, May 23. We have Sailor, Your, oops, Maku, Kokoroguma. I'm just going to dip this in my drinking water, not my inking water. Some of these darker, like, blue-black ones almost kind of look the same to me. I don't think either of them, like, stand out super well. Um, I liked them when I swatched them, but after writing with them kind of like they were kind of dry to me I just didn't, I didn't like the way it felt and it could have been the paper that I was using could have been just the paper that's in my Anne of Green Gables notebook and the fact that I was like tired oh wait this one I did like this one on the swatch card. In the writing though, it wasn't as impressive to me. It definitely swatches nicer. I like watching this one color shift. Mm It goes down that blue black and now it's like, what the hell color are you? Like I said, it's way more impressive in the swatch than I liked it in the writing, but still a beautiful ink. Next up, we have Yurameku Zari Gokuro. I love getting these in the ink flight because that means that other people are getting to experience them. Because some people are not as crazy as I am and just like gets everything to try it. Just because they have to try it. Some of y'all are sane. Sorry, go girl. Go girl. That said, speaking of my being insane. Um, I ordered the new Color Rush Nebula inks. I ordered mine from Goldspot this time because I signed up for in-stock notifications a few places and that was the place that emailed me first. So, so they got my business this time. Um, well, I mean, they didn't like email me specifically. It was just from the notifications. Um, and so I ordered the new, the three newest Nebula inks and also they released um, like the uh, the shimmer inks from the Hubble I think it was the Hubble series um, 
like Mystic Mountain and uh, Horsehead Nebula. And uh, I bought a bottle of each of those. So it's in the larger bottle instead of the companion bottle. Oh, which is beautiful. Uh oh. Oh no, that's right. I thought I skipped one. Um, yeah, so now I can use uh, Horsehead Nebula and Mystic Mountain with Wild Abandon because I have a bottle of each of them. A bigger bottle. And that makes me very happy that Colorverse chose to do that because, um, yeah, now I can use them all the time. It's like blue black that's turning kind of rusty. It's interesting watching them change on the card. Zaza. This is one of the sounds of rain. Another one I've swatched a long time ago, though. Don't actually remember what this one looks like. Dipped it way too far. Way, way, way too far. I feel like this is darker than I remember because I thought, well, I guess not because Hara Hara I think is part of that same series and it's, it's a little darker, a little bit. Very nice. It's a nice, like, dusty denim -y blue, sort of. It's just like a touch more interesting than like a blue, blue, blue. Does that make sense? Like it's still a blue, but it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. It looks a little more interesting. So we have Date Gokuro. Yurameku Adate Gokoro oh, I'm gonna go ahead and um we're gonna install the cartridge on this so we can go ahead and see what it writes like. I think, does it have like a certain spot? No? No. I must have just been like hitting the sides. Okay, so we'll let that sit there and do its thing and then we'll do a writing sample with it in a little while.
These Romecos are so dry though. Like, not just the Euromechas, but these specific, like, the second edition one, ones, I think because of whatever makes the sheen, I feel like it's, like, pretty saturated, and that's why. Again, also, I think it was, like, well, the paper I was using is supposed to be 68G SM Tomoe River paper, but I feel like it's not as slickly coated as Tomoe River paper use usually is. So my pen didn't always uh, glide across as nicely as it usually does when using when when it had these inks in it. I love this one. I love how it shifts, and I also liked writing with it. Sailor Suki Gokuro, which is my favorite of the Yurameku, the second edition Yurameku's, even above the Date Gokuro, the purpley one. I just love this. I think it's so interesting. Somebody said it reminds them a little of um, Tatcha Sabin Midori, and I could totally see that. It's different. It's different enough in my eyes. Because um, I feel like Sabin Midori is just so. Sabin Midori, like, is just amazing. But, yes. Ink Flight 523. Sailor. Yurameku Suki Gokoro I feel like I need to give this dip pen like an oh, extra special bath. I just think the year the second edition of Yurameku is just so dark compared to um this is so ugly I love it like it's so ugly it's pretty especially as it's drying like you have that really pretty green and then this like olivey brown drab sort of color as it's drying I, I don't know why I don't know why I'm completely in love with this but I am we have Hanagokuro. I think I were, of the other ones, I think this was like the third one that I kind of enjoyed writing with. Maybe the best? I don't remember. I don't remember. But, um, Hanagokuro, Kokoro Guma. Well, Kokoro Guma is, I don't know, a special in the swatch. I don't think, I did not like writing with it. Sorry, Gokuro was all right. Uh, dry, but I think this one I really enjoyed. I really liked writing with this one. Um, uh, five twenty three. Yura uh, Hana Gokoro.
This is a very like blue leaning sort of ink flight. They're not all blue, but it's definitely a cooler, it's a cooler ink flight. This does not scream almost summer to me. This screams more like, like dead of winter. This is like a January ink flight, at least in terms of mood. Oh no, I forgot to swatch on the toy over paper. Let me fix that. It's not the end of the world if I don't because we've swatched all of these already, but I like to be consistent. All right, and last but most certainly not least, Shito Shito. I don't know that I need to do this because that paper is pretty absorbent, but. had this one in um, September, November's ink flight. I just remember really, really, really enjoying it. pretty. I would definitely say that's the brightest of all of the inks. It's got a lot of like dual shady properties. There's like definitely some blue and some like green in there. Like some gray. Mm. So pretty. Um, the Yurimekus also smell pretty chemically, and I think it's probably because of the sheening aspect, but they definitely have a smell to them. I know people talk about the sailor smell all the time, and I don't actually notice it, usually. Um, it's not like scented, it's not like a KWZ sort of thing, but they definitely smell chemically. I love that one. That one. Okay, so we're gonna move those out of the way. Oh, I forgot to swatch the last one. out of the way. Move this out of the way. Here is our toy rubber paper. Oops. We have made a mess. A slight mess over here. And write the names of these in here with our new online pen. I'm not going to post it because it makes it really long if I post it. Hopefully we've given it enough time to do its thing. Maybe we did. 
So we have Sailor Yermeku. Kokoro Guma. Just a standard blue ink, nothing special. Oops. Um, Sailor Yurameku. Kokoro, we have Sailor. Shikiori. Zaza. Actually, I think I did use Zaza on a pen now that I see it drying. And I think I really enjoyed it. Like, it's another, again, another one that's blue, but it's, I don't know, it feels a little, it's it's a, just a blue, blue ink, but it feels a tiny bit more special for some reason. It's like, it has just a, like, tiny little bit of pizzazz compared to, like, a normal, just everyday blue ink, like this one. Then we have Sailor. I don't know why I keep missing the eye in Sailor. Sailor. Sailor Suki Gokuro. Then we have Hama Gokuro. Then we have Sailor Shiki Ori Shito Shito. There we go. This pen writes really nicely. It's really smooth. The ink cartridge has some nice shading. Um yeah, it's like get some line variation well I don't think that's its main purpose definitely it exists there oops um, yeah it is a nice inexpensive pen and I like the color that I got I wonder what other colors there are out there who knows I can't wait to watch all the ink flight videos now It's definitely a dark and blue leaning ink flight, which definitely doesn't please some people. I know there's a lot of people out there that dislike blues and may not be big fans of this one, but you get to use the Sailor Yurameku ink. So if you were experienced, if you were excited about them or wanted to try them, here's your chance. Um, yeah, I freaking love this one. It looks like a swimming pool so pretty and I can't wait to get that I'm like, very excited I'm very excited thank you again ink flight for being amazing and wonderful and awesome I love ink flight day I wish to look at the swatches I'm saying goodbye without looking at the swatches silly silly me silly silly Manda let me close my dip pen before disaster strikes okay we have uh Kokoro Guma which looks kind of blue going down, but now it just looks like this rusty color. Looks definitely looks, what does it say? Brownish violet? That's exactly what it looks like. Brownish violet. Then we have Zari Gokro, which has this interesting red sheen all over it, like a blue black. What do they call it? Coppery sheen? Yeah, I see that. Coppery, it's a good word. Zaza which is a slightly little bit more interesting normal blue blue. Um, Date Gokuro, which is this like blurple color that dries to a purple, I think because of the reddish sheen. They call it a deep violet with red sheen, but it looks like a blurple to me. Then we have Suki Gokuro. It just looks dirty and I love it. <laughs> I love that one so much. 
And then we have Hanagokuro. Where did the card for Hanagokuro go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go, George? Where did it go? Um, here. It, it fell under this one. Uh, the It is a grayish slate purple with burgundy sheen. I think when I'm writing, this was the one I liked the best. Like, aside, like, of the three, like, sort of blue-black-ish leaning ones, this was the one that I liked the best. And then, last but most certainly not least, a Shito Shito, which looks like it does not belong in this ink flight. <laughs> this one's still drying, so I'm not going to get too crazy with throwing stuff around, but there you go. Thank you so much, ink flight, for another fun month. Looking forward to what next month holds. Um, yeah, I love Ink Flight Day. It's my favorite day. Ooh, excuse me. Big yawn at the end. Thank you so much for watching. Did you get this Ink Flight? Do you wish you got this Ink Flight? Let me know in the comments below. What did you think? What did you think about the inks? Have you played with them yet? Are you excited to play with them? Do you wish you got this Ink Flight? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And... I'm excited because now I get to go watch all the other Ink Flight videos. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye.